Hello! So I'm doing my video a day late because it has been so, so crazy and my son has been cranky and so there hasn't really been a good time to do a video. Um, also, my appointment yesterday was very late in the afternoon. So this is what I found out from my doctor's appointment. They did receive the surgical records and... The person that I spoke with that told me that there was, that the surgeon OB had seen a placental abruption was incorrect. Um, if he suspected it, he never put it in the notes and the surgical record. So that's no longer, I guess, what happened according to the records. So I asked the OB what the heck happened then, if all of my fluid dissipated and if there was no abruption, then how did that happen? And she just said her assumption is is that the placenta just started dying early. And that that is, of course, something that can happen again. But that, obviously, it's not a guarantee. And so I just have to watch out for that. Make sure I mention it to whatever doctor will be um, doing the delivery. And... <sighs> She did a quick ultrasound just to make sure there was still a heartbeat and baby was moving around so much that she had a difficult time finding the heartbeat for a minute, but obviously it wasn't of concern because the baby was just moving so much, so it's not like we just couldn't find the heartbeat, it's just that there was so much movement that it was hard to pin it down. So other than that, there is one symptom that I wanted to talk about that I've been experiencing for several weeks, but I haven't brought it up. Because I was unsure if it really was pregnancy, and I just feel really, really guilty and insufficient, and so I didn't want to mention it in a video, but here we are. So my normal love language is physical touch. I love physical touch, I love being around my husband, I love cuddling, arms around me, you know, holding hands hands on thighs, everything, just whatever physical affection, um, intimacy, great. But within the past four to six weeks, I have had an aversion to physical touch and it's been really difficult on our relationship because my husband's primary love language is also physical touch. And so for us to normally have that in common, then all of a sudden I have an aversion to it is very, very difficult. And... I've figured out now that it can be a normal pregnancy system, symptom. It usually goes away, I guess, around the fourth month, so fingers crossed it'll be soon that it goes away. I had to redo the love language test because I just had to find some sort of common ground for my husband and I, and, and I just needed to know, he needs to know what my love language is so that we can, you know, that we can show each other our love and I still know that his is physical touch his main one and so I just need to compromise sometimes and not give way to that aversion and we both have our second and very close behind physical touch is quality time and so what we've decided is just to make quality time a major major priority and then compromise on each other's pri uh, primary. So my primary now, I guess, currently in this pregnancy is acts of service. And I mean, it makes sense. I've been so sick that when he does things, it, it like touches my heart and I'm like, oh, thank you, honey. You know, so just going to work on that. Hopefully that'll go away. Um, He's not optimistic, he's very frustrated, and I'm very frustrated too. The way that I described it to him is when he gets very angry, and I know this is not an uncommon thing, when he gets upset, frustrated, angry, stressed out, he doesn't want to be touched. If he's touched, he feels overwhelmed, crowded, like smothered, and that's how I feel all the time, although I'm not angry or anything. It's just an unnatural feeling of oh my gosh, stop touching me. I feel really smothered right now. And so that's the only way I could relate it to him. And I think that he gets it, but it doesn't mean that he likes it. And like I said, I don't either. So 
those are the things we're dealing with. Next week I have an appointment at the military doctor. And this will be the one that I'll establish care with here. I'll be there with that doctor until probably somewhere around 32 weeks. So when I go to that doctor, I will find out officially when my due date is, when it's adjusted to, if they adjust it or not. Uh, and we'll go from there. Labeling my videos has not been easy because I don't know what to call it anymore. I don't know where to, whether to go buy my LMP or go by the couple of ultrasounds I have had or to go by um, what this new doctor is going to say. So we will see. Anyway, I apologize again for the late video. I'm just going to have to block out time in my schedule next week so it gets done on Thursday on time. <laughs> All right. See you then. Have a great weekend.